What, what's today? Today is the day before the show? Uh, today is the day before the show. We got check-ins. Uh, what else we got? We got to go get tan. I can barely talk. I got my teeth white and stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pete, what's going on? Man, I like what I'm seeing, man. That's good. That's good to hear. How you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. My energy's up. Uh, I feel good, honestly. You know what? I can be honest, too. The physique's still back up. The weight's coming back. Uh, every time we check in, the people are filling you up. You're getting a little tighter, a little drier, and a lot. It's more backwards, good. Midsection looks the best it's ever looked, period. I think, at this point right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, let's definitely stick to the fluid plan as I would like. Yo, now it's time for breakfast. Coach told us to go ahead and uh, shock the glycogen levels of our muscles, man. So we're finna go get some pancakes, steak, and eggs. If you was watching the last show, you already know how important it is to me. Here we go. Like that be like the goofy stuff I be talking about, you just gotta like just keep on the other. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's he's not gonna look like I'm disappointed. I ain't gonna lie, I am a little disappointed, man. Like we just didn't have the the means to make it to like a Denny's or IHOP to get the pancakes, steak and eggs like we normally do. But it's cool, man. A hotel restaurant. This isn't so bad. I thought we'd be able to order something. But it's have more like a buffet style. But they still have the basics. They ain't had no steak though, but we got chicken sausage, which is similar. I got steak upstairs, so I'm not really going to eat all that. I'd rather, I'd rather just get a little bit of the eggs in, throw these waffles in, and maybe a couple sausages, but I still got steak upstairs, so I can supplement that if I need to. Trash. <laughs> Still trash. So it is uh, Friday morning, the day before the show. We just did check-ins with Pete. How yeah. are you feeling right now? You see the, see the jitters? <laughs> yeah. It's the excitement, man. We starting to get ready. Uh, I had a conversation with Pete, man. I think... Uh, from all the check-in pictures and videos that I sent them, we in a really good place. Uh, we just went over our, our diet plan going forward for the day, but I'm excited. I mean, I trust in the vision, man. I trust in the plan. I trust in the process. Uh, and it's important to, to stick to it as best as possible so that your body peaks as it should. Today is the day, though, to pull the water, man. So I'm, I'm already thirsty as it is, but it's really going to help us bring in a really tight, really neat, a uh, really complete package for this show tomorrow, man, because I tell you guys all the time, my objective is to always come back better and to always give you guys what you deserve, which is a great show. And I believe this this show tomorrow in New York, coming from off of Pittsburgh and everything that we learned, it's going to be amazing. So It is uh, Friday afternoon. We're getting ready for our 10. Getting ready to get checked in. What time is it? It's like 3.30. So we got a, got a couple hours before we go get 10. So, I've already had like what, three three meals in already. So what I like to do is try to pose a little bit just to kind of flex out uh, or move around those carbs for me just a little bit. So what I be looking for is just the striations, uh, making sure that the carbs are really starting to fill up in the muscles and also kind of get a gauge of how well I'm starting to dry out. Um, I can always tell from my back just because my lower back holds most of the water. So that's always like the last area to, to go for me. Uh, so that's why I like to do a little updates every every other meal, get some posing, just kind of see, make sure we on track. I check in with the coach with this, and we be good. Camera, it's time to go get this check in. Uh, go meet all the great competitors and a couple guys that I've seen in a while, a couple people that I already know, and some new faces as well. Then right after that, we get this tan. That's why I'm dressed like this, cause normally you know I be TG stuff down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, so tell me, you was telling me a story off camera. What was the story about your first? Not your your first tanning, 
uh, experience. Yo, yeah, yeah. Like when I first started competing, the one thing that threw me off about ten is like you book it your t- your tan slot online, and you think that you know you're going to be the guy going to get tan. When I walk into this room, unbeknownst to me, it's a room full of naked guys just talking. And I was like, whoa, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> so it throws you off at first. I mean, not every, you're, you're not like fully blown, like just in the nude, but guys down to just their underwear, like bodybuilders having like little socks over their stuff or their whatever, uh, or just like really small br- uh, briefs. Like it just, it threw me for a loop. I didn't know it was like a group thing. So it was like, whoa, butt cheeks. Didn't know that was, <laughs> that was a thing, man. But that was definitely experience, man. I didn't know that came a part of the game. <laughs> so, whoa. <laughs> Baby girl love my bop and I'm like me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind so why I need you Baby girl love my bob and I like me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind, so why I need you? Big flex, my swole up, double cup and I'm pulled up Niggas hatin' like hold up, what's the problem? I'm pulled up Big flex, my swole up, hard body, they fold up Shawty say I done glowed up, double text on my phone up Fuck with your boy on the Yo, so we just had the check-ins and I am excited. Got to run into a lot of the competitors. Same, some familiar faces, some new faces. Either way, everybody's competition. Still gotta go out there and do the best that we can, but on to the next, to the 10. You need a sock or you Uh, not these feet. I said these feet can use a makeover. I'm not talking about here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you talking about she? Hey, she talking about the sock for the for the willies. If I put a sock on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use, it, use it as a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy by the zip lock. Flex season, I'm road running. I'm staying all of my tip top. Young man with an old mind, so I ain't worried about slight shit. I be up till sunrise. That's, that's my thing, man. Like every show is different. You never know how they gonna have the stage set up. Like whether you gonna come from left or the right side of the stage. So it makes you feel weird if you gotta like walk this way or walk that way. And I'm not good with walking this way, so I need to practice my steps. Don't don't get inside my mind. Float. Swagger. It's time to get ready for war. Early morning check-ins. Uh, looking a little bit leaner. A little bit drier than last night. You know what I'm saying? But... So you gotta keep pushing, keep eating, keep posing. Try to get harder. You ready for the stage? You ready for the show? communication but the fear right now is whether or not I'm full enough you know we're already a couple hours outside of the show that's the that's the pros and cons of doing like the virtual you know show day or show peak week preparation uh, but you know we work with what we can and we continue learning going forward but regardless of whatever the physique is still undeniable, you know what I'm saying? But we still want to make it undeniable, an undeniable presence on that stage. So, no worries. You know what I'm saying? No, no sense in trying to stress it. We just do what we can. Keep eating, keep adding carbs, follow the plan, execute.
Mm-hmm. So let's talk to the people. What gets you going before you get on stage, man? Everybody watching this right now gets me going, man. Like, because the whole world's gonna see this video. So it's like, I can go viral for being good, or I can go viral for being a bust. That's what gets me going, man. Like, these pictures are gonna be seen. These videos are gonna be seen. But are they gonna have good or bad comments, man? So, I already know the comments I'm gonna get. Oh, he got chicken legs. Chicken, but everybody likes chicken. Who doesn't like chicken? That gets me going though, man. Like, just being able to have fun. You know, have, have a positive attitude going to the stage. It's not, let me, I'm so strong, I'm so tough because I'm a bodybuilder. Yeah, it's, it's hard work and it's a tough mindset, but it's fun at the end of the day because this is a fun hobby. This is a fun activity. It's, it's, you gotta find the fun in it. If not, then it just becomes like a hassle to be able to get up early, to do the cardio, to be able to go the long days of eating consistently and starving and, and, and having to still work and still gotta go to the gym and do your nightly cardio, whatever, bro. Like, you, you just gotta have the fun, man. So that's what gets me. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> what you like? Mm, delicioso. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Moving like I'm into. Hit the ground running like the rain do. Speak a little something that you're into. I ain't trying to hear about what you been through. Like, hold up, hold up. Say what's the hold up. I got that pack who got that roll up. I'm trying to pull up. It seems like every time I show up, it gotta go up. Working hard, but we got second call outs. Does not mean that we fail. It just means we gotta get better next time, man. I don't know if my energy just didn't match my height uh, or what the judges might have seen, or maybe, uh, I mean, it's just a lot of good competition, but either way, we still gotta keep the foot on the gas because finals is still another adventure. So, check it out. And we're back to the final second half of the show. Uh, Pre-judging uh, didn't go exactly as we had planned. I mean, the plan is always to go first call out dead center. Uh, we got second call outs, but that doesn't mean that the show's over. Uh, that just means we got to go back during the intermission, try to do, you know, manipulate the food, manipulate the water, so that we can come back with better conditioning for the final so that we can at least have an advanced placement. The show is not over, I'm not discouraged, I'm not down or anything. Uh, I'm feeling better now that I'm uh, a little rested, uh, but I'm excited to get back on the stage, man, and just bring it home. Cause once we're done, it's time to go have fun. Doobie, my boy Doobie, I'm telling you, man. This, this is the guy, this is one of the guys, this is one of the guys that keeps you pushing forward, right? Like, of course you got your top guys, right? That are already like top place Olympians, but it's guys like this that are just as hungry, just as consistent, that's really trying to claw their way to the top that you know is on your heels at the same time. Like, we're at the same position, so I can't let up because I know this guy's not gonna let up. Watch this guy, I'm telling you, he's the And we are done. Hell of a show, man, hell of a competition. Have fun, man. Didn't get the placing that we want, but we learned though. We're finna go get this judges' feedback. And I'm gonna get back to you guys, figure out what we need to improve on so the next show we come even better. The show's over, so there's nothing else to watch. But thanks for tuning in. Alright, man, so the show's done now, so now it's time to have fun and celebrate. But before we do that, I gotta address a few things. One, I am not down or upset, I am in really good uh, spirits. High hopes for the next shows going forward. Got some really good feedback, and that's, those are things that are giving in good faith so that I continue to become a better athlete for the shows in the future. So, can't be mad about that. Only thing I would be mad about is if I didn't take that feedback and become a better athlete for myself, because then I'll be letting myself down, and I'll be letting you down watching this right now. So, that's first. Secondly, I gotta give a major shout out to my sponsors for this video, TG Subs. If you're not tapped in with them, make sure that you do so. Their uh, information is in the link below. Hit and use code MAC10 for your exclusive discounts on some of our great products. I pre-workout, BCAAs, fat burner, even more. Just check the site out. Third, I gotta give a major, major shout out to you guys that's watching this right now. My family, friends, and supporters, you guys are all 
amazing. You show me so much love and support that helps me stay strong and continue down this path, letting me know that, hey, I have a bright future in this career. So I, I, I got to give a shout out to you guys. You guys are beautiful and I love you guys. Now that the whole show is done, we had a long time on prep. It's time to take some time off. I won't be doing a show until later on this fall. So tonight we celebrate.